questions. 6. In the setup shown in figure 5, it is observed that the level of the water initially drops before starting to rise. Explain this observation. Solution. Glass flask initially expands or heating increases the volume of the flask, hence the level drops. Eventually water expands more than glass, leading to the level rising, cold water causes air in the flask to contract slash reduces pressure inside flask or when cold water is poured it causes a decrease in volume of air the flask or pressure increases in the flask. Volume of the flask decreases. 7. Figure 6 shows a bimetallic strip with a wooden handle, suspended horizontally using a thin thread. The strip is heated at the point shown. Explain why the system tips to the right. Solution. On heating, the bimetallic strip bends, this causes the position of the center of gravity of the section to the left to shift to the right causing imbalance and so tips to the right. 8. A clinical thermometer has a constriction in the bore just above the bulb. State the use of this constriction. Solution. Prevents slash holds, traps breaks mercury thread slash stops return of mercury to bulb when thermometer is removed from a particular body of the surrounding. 9. Figure 7 shows a flask fitted with a glass tube dipped into a beaker containing water at room temperature. The cork fixing the glass tube to the flask is airtight. Explain what is observed when ice cold water is poured on the flask. Solution Water rises up the tube into the flask or water is sucked into the tube or bubbles are seen momentarily. 10. The melting point of oxygen is given as negative 281.3 degrees Celsius. Convert this temperature to Kelvin. Solution. Negative 281.3 plus 273 equals 8.3 Kelvin.